evening and welcome to MTV's News Update for today, November 3, 2022. I'm Sandy Ramutar for Store Top Headlines. 2020 Elections Commission of Inquiry opens today. Armenian leaders urge to practice financial accountability. World Class Golf Facility to be developed in Georgetown. And in sport, Chase puts pride in winners' top row. Cornwall gave Hurricanes a second win. Now for the news in detail. The Presidential Commission of Inquiry into the March 2, 2020 elections and its surrounding events will aim for fairness, objectivity and impartiality. This is according to Chairman of the Commission, Stanley John, during the opening of the hearing on Thursday. Delisi Bailey reports. The Presidential Commission of Inquiry, which is tasked with investigating certain aspects of the March 2020 elections, was opened today. During the opening session, the chairman of the commission, Stanley John, said that the commission aims for fairness, objectivity, and impartiality. In this regard, the chairman said that he would ensure that the report of the inquiry is scrupulously fair in both in terms of an accurate recording of the events and persons involved. This COI was a promise by President Irfan Ali following the March 2020 election impasse, which saw results being declared some five months later. Among other things, according to the terms of reference, the Commissioner will inquire into the matter set out by President Ali and include an inquiry into and report upon the relevant circumstances and events leading up to and the procedures following the regional and general elections. I'm Delisha Bailey for MTV News Update. President Dr. Irfan Ali says the government will be engaging foreign investors to develop a world-class golf facility in Georgetown. More from Jessica Cannon. World Class Golf Course Design Company Andy Dai Designs is part of a visiting U.S. and South Korean delegation of global business giants eyeing investment in Guyana. Principal architect Andy Dai touts his company's years of experience, noting that golf courses designed by his company attract high-level golfers around the world. We have designed world-famous golf courses around the globe for over 200 golf courses. Golfers come up uh, from all around the world to play dive, dive golf. These are golf courses that we have done in Singapore, the United States, Europe, and all, all globally. The company not only handles the entire process of creating the golf course from design to construction, they also provide on-site personnel. President Ali says this is something the government will definitely be investing in. Uh, you know, Parker City the city is world class entertainment. And with the uh, oil and gas sector, there's a lot of expats who come in who want to play high level golf. Uh, golfing has a very uh, high level market. So if they, uh, from what I was told, the company is also bringing financing. Uh, so if they're members of the private sector, Engage the company, please do so because the government also will be engaging from the uh, from tourism aspect of it and to see how we can uh, we can work on a pro. Definitely, we have to have a world class golf course. This also aligns with the government's aim of advancing sport tourism in Guyana. Just two months ago, President Ali said Guyana is working to be part of the Formula One Powerboat World Championship in further efforts to boost sport tourism. Golf has also been growing in popularity across Guyana, with more than 100 students practicing golf in schools as a physical education elective. The Guyana Golf Association has also been working to build compact golf courses across Guyana. Reporting for MTV's News Update, Jessica Calder. You're watching MTV's News Update. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Are you building or renovating your home? Then come to Beeson for a wide range of aluminum and UPVC windows and doors. Get from single hung sash, on it, casement, sliding windows, plus sliding and swinging doors. All our products can be customized and fitted with insect screens and are seal tight to withstand harsh weather conditions. At Beeson, we also carry commercial, glass and French doors, showcases, aluminum louvers, curtain walls, aluminum rails, plus sliding and frameless shower doors. So look no further. Visit our showroom today at Lot 1228 Eccles Industrial Site or call 622-4197 or 623-4197. Peace on windows and doors. Filled with pride in Guyana by Guyanese.
at the gift center, you are guaranteed to find something that's ideal for everyone. Choose from an array of high-quality pens or that exceptional timepiece in great brands like Citizen, Casio, Fossil, and Ancline, all backed by warranty. Add to the ambience of your home or office with a beautiful decor, or enhance the decor of your bed and bath with quality sheets and towels. Get handbags with matching wallets to fit all your essentials. Unleash your inner chef with quality cookware and kitchen appliances. Maintain personal care with quality appliances. So get the perfect gifts with a little help from us at the gift center and start looking forward to the most wonderful time of the year. Hello, homeowners and painters. We're happy with the response we have gotten. Thank you. As such, we're now offering the multi-surface roof, floor, and wall putty routine paint at a special reduced price of 2,500 per 1.5 gallons bucket. This paint can be used on wood, concrete, zinc, and metal. Don't forget we have a new shipment of oil paint with shades such as Morning Glory, Nantucket Grey White, and many more familiar shades to choose from. The water-based paint at 3,600 per gallon and the oil-based paint for 4,300 per gallon. Come into our showroom to view the colors and let's beautify our surroundings. Global sales and distribution, Lot 14 to be Kwame Street, opposite King's Jewelry World between Waterloo and Carmichael Street. Look for the red front building. Telephone 504-3908 or 6220601. Regent and Royal Paints created for you at the most competitive price. See you soon! This is MTV's News Update. Welcome back. Minister of Armenian Affairs Pauline Sukai has cautioned indigenous leaders that there needs to be less financial irregularities and breaches in the operation of the state business. Details from Delicia Bailey. The reminder comes on the heels of reports of financial breaches in various villages and in one instance, prosecution of one leader. Teach you how to be honest and accountable, but we can impart the knowledge which you will want to incorporate into your work. Um, and that you will make full use of the um, the work or the or the knowledge and the information based on that. The two-day activity opened at the Umanayana and will conclude at the Artichong Conference Center, and will cover areas such as financial management and accountability, leadership management and administration, project management and planning, and teamwork and conflict resolution. According to the Amarinian Affairs Minister, reduced instances of financial irregularity would mean more resources could be made available for other projects as it is costly to investigate these breaches. We are spending enormous sums of money to travel, to send out teams, auditors, revisit, follow-up visit um, as it relates to the complaints coming from the villages and the call for investigation of the lead of leaders, including uh, petitions to remove leaders. It is a costly activity. The importance of all aspects of good governance was also underscored by Minister Sukai and supported by the National Two Shows Council's chairman, Derek John. The two-day exercise is being held under the theme, Accountability for Good Governance. Delisha Bailey for MTV News Update. The Women's Agro-Processes Development Network says their members are often challenged with expanding their businesses and are calling for expedited business licenses and their own agro-processing facility. Jessica Canada has more. The Women's Agro-Processors Development Network, WADNET, is a network of about 12 small-scale agro-processing groups across regions 1, 2, four, five, and nine. Members are indigenous women-led businesses who are supported by a revolving fund, pop-ups, and exhibitions to promote their products. The Ghana Marketing Corporation supports these businesses through purchasing of their products which are being sold at the Guyana shop. President of WADNET, Rosamond Ben, said most of the women are unable to expand their businesses because the revenue earned only manages to upkeep the business. You see, when we have these um, exhibitions and so forth, 
look at the cost for, for those boots and so if we don't get subsidy many a times we would not be able to partake because sometimes you don't even sell to cover that expense ben says in many villages it is still a cultural norm that men own the lands and because women are not given rights to their own farmlands they cannot register their businesses to get licensed and therefore cannot expand their trade another challenge agro-processors face is that even when they do register their businesses products must be licensed on an annual basis but often the renewal of licenses can take a lengthy period and by the time these licenses are renewed at the end of the year they are put to reapply for the new cycle she says programs by the ministry of human services and social security such as accelerate her have benefited indigenous women in the past but she hopes initiatives like these can be taken into more villages as access to stable internet makes these programs inaccessible to some women um if women can own if the if the group within the area can have their own processing facility they will be able to have all the say in it not only just a small portion and then so that can help them to continue to grow now and bring in other women within the, their community so that they can produce and expand their facility as well as their market. The WADnet is continuously seeking new markets for their members, but hopes these issues can be addressed at the soonest. These things that they're running around, you know, to get registered and so forth should become much easier for us so that many other women can form themselves into groups and benefit and when there are let's say if there are um programs and so inform the women let, let people know within the community because of, because of now um everybody don't have accounts like um facebook account and entitled to zoom and those kind of thing because of the area that you live in not being able to have internet access, those things can be a challenge. So if those reporting for MTV's news update, Jessica Calder. More news coming up after the break. Stay with us. Why you minding me business? I noticed you yesterday, you're there watching, 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 watching. Today, you're there here again. Why you minding me business? I'm fed up with your nosy self. Yeah, baby, I just love your windows. Why are you bothering me window? Like your house single window? What kind of window really in your house? I got some all louvers windows that I need to change. Louvers! <laughs> Girl, I let you in for a secret, right? Peace and got a special deal right now. You go down there, you buy 10 window, you get a free bathroom window. Oh, for the love of God, try with them louvers window and go down to Peace and modernize. Peace and windows and doors. Serving Guyana with the highest quality windows for your home, office, or commercial building. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Charlie, girl, you won't believe <gasps> Sorry, I'm interrupting y'all. Mala, I'm here taking the census. Girl, you done got a husband already, huh? Miss, I am a census taker, going door to door so that everyone can be interviewed and counted in the National Census 2022. What is the census though? Well, the population and housing census is a count of the population and all the buildings every 10 years. Getting counted transforms an entire nation. From region one to region 10. You know what? I believe our village needs a health center. I think it needs some roads too. You see the man boots out there, how it's full of mud, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm asking Mrs. De Silva a few questions from our questionnaire. We record the answers and then the data is used to help shape the future of the country. Oh, so the two y'all not. Oh gosh. We called him. Fibertech materials are used in a multitude of ways from repairing and fabrication of auto body, fishing and household items. 
We have available various fiberglass mattings, resin, mold releases, brushes and rollers for all of your repair needs. We offer technical advice and free training to ensure you get the job done. For further information, call us at 2206907 or 2209192. You are tuned to MTV's news update. The Deaf Association of Ghana is seeking funding to construct a recreational facility to provide a safe space for deaf persons to socialize. Managing Director of the Deaf Association of Guyana, Sabine McIntosh, has been advocating for a recreational facility for the past few years and hopes that her recent engagement with the President will bear fruits. McIntosh said there is no space for persons who are deaf to socialize with each other except for schools. This, in turn, can lead to them feeling isolated because there is no one around them that share their similar experience, and often few people outside of their families that speak sign language. They need a place where they can meet and discuss and make plans and practice, and in the and where they can, where we do drama, we do different things, for example, chess, you know, we would run a chess club, we run a drama, we do... Well, they need a place where remedial teaching can happening can happen, um, where they can be addressed as a group, where we can do workshops on human rights, on, on anything. The Deaf Association was given a space in Cummings Lodge for this recreational building and has drafted a model design, but has not yet been able to finish paying for the land or start construction. We see that social space as a kind of multifunctional center where the association um, would um, also have office, there would be a research, um, a research library, and there would be a space where parents, not only parents, but whoever out there is interested in learning about deaf or researching about deaf, where they could come and meet deaf. McIntosh further noted that spaces made for the deaf community are especially crucial with the lack of accommodation and acceptance they may feel elsewhere. She is also seeking government support to carry out activities and workshops once this facility is built. Reporting for MTV's News Update, Jessica Callender. We now take a look at tips for healthy living. Top 10 Medical Causes of Death in Guyana Self-Harm While self-harm isn't necessarily a medical cause of death, it is among one of the top 10 causes of death in Guyana and can cause health complications. So before we find out what the number one medical cause of death is, let's look at self-harm. What is self-harm? Self-harm, also known as self-injury, self-inflicted violence, and non-suicidal self-injury. It is the deliberate act of causing physical harm to oneself. While cutting can often appear to be a sign of attempted suicide, most children and teens who engage in self-injury are not actively suicidal. Unfortunately, there is always a risk of death involved in self-injurious behaviors, as the person may cut too deeply or hurt themselves beyond the point of which their body is capable of repairing the damage. As self-harming behaviors can become unintentionally fatal, any parent or guardian concerned for their child or teen should seek treatment immediately to prevent any complications and promote more positive outcomes. Signs and Symptoms As self-injury is often done in private, it can be challenging to know when a loved one or friend is engaging in self-harming behaviors. The signs and symptoms of self-injury will vary depending upon the methods a person uses, co-occurring disorders, and drug or alcohol use. Signs and symptoms of self-injury include behavioral symptoms, such as the need to spend increasing amounts of time alone, challenges in friendships and romantic relationships, physical symptoms, scars from burns or cuts, fresh scratches or cuts, broken bones, Cognitive symptoms, ongoing questions about personal identity, thoughts of helplessness, hopelessness, or worthlessness. Psychosocial symptoms, emotional instability, depression, guilt, shame, and disgust. Causes 
Researchers in the field believe that self-injurious behaviors are not the result of one single factor, but rather a number of causes and risk factors working together. The most common causes of self-injury may include a combination of the following. Genetic, a number of mental illnesses that can trigger self-harming impulses. Physical, many mental health disorders are thought to be the result of imbalances in certain neurotransmitters in the brain, involved in emotional regulation and feelings of pleasure. These people may self-harm as a means to feel less empty or to control their emotions. Environmental, children and teens who have been abused physically, sexually, verbally, or emotionally are at a greater risk for developing self-injurious behaviors as a means to cope. During the abuse, these people were unable to express emotions and feelings in a healthy manner and learned to use self-injury to cope with the overwhelming emotions of the trauma. Treatment There is no one best way to treat self-injuring behavior, but the first step is to tell someone so you can get help. Treatment is based on your specific issues and any related mental health disorders you might have, such as depression. Because self-injury can become a major part of your life, it's best to get treatment from a mental health professional experienced in self-injury issues. Some treatment options can include therapy, medications, and psychiatric hospitalization. Treating self-injury behavior can take time, hard work, and your own desire to recover. The ISG and MTV's sport update comes up after the break. Stay tuned. Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high-quality building supplies. We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size, and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as 10 feet by four and a half feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade. With our wall and ceiling gypsum system, it's light, durable, and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Cherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut, for that 31 years of Lens quality. Planning a cleanup? We can help. Sivan's waste management skip bins can be provided for home renovation projects yard cleanups, or construction sites. It's simple. Step one, just pick up the phone and give us a call. Step two, we deliver the skip bin size of your choice. Step three, load the skip with all of your junk. And finally, step four, we take it all away. It's that simple. Bins are also available in various sizes, so there's no job that's too big or too small. Call Sivan's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter in under five minutes. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. Cardinal Paints again signaling strong support for motor racer Christian Jeffrey in his latest bid to capture the Radical Carbon Cup title. 
Jeffrey, who is 15 points behind the series leader, will surge for top gear in the final round set for November 12 and 13 at the South Dakota Circuit. Guyana's Christian Jeffrey, who led after the first two rounds in the Radical Carbon Cup at the Bushy Park Race to win Barbados, now trails by 15 points after tough conditions in round three in Trinidad. He will have all to drive for in the final round at South Dakota from November 12 and 13 with Turgenal Paints in his corner. Turgenal Paints at its Rumvelt Industrial Estate office presented their financial support to the carbon racer. Company representative Sachin Pui says because of Jeffrey's pursuit of success and winnings at the regional level, they are delighted to offer their support to his efforts. Christian has been the motorsport representative of Guyana for almost two decades. And as a Guyanese brand, we couldn't be more proud to have him represent Turgenal Paints. He continues to prove time and time again why he's one of the best drivers, not only here in Guyana, but in the entire Caribbean. We look forward to seeing Christian paint up the track with flying colors at this year's race meet on November 12th and 13th. Jeffrey said that he firmly believes this is a winning combination as he makes every effort to finish the series as a top radical driver. We have the, um, the best paint, the best car, the best team. So we're in it to win. The first two rounds really great leading the championship. But we had a few mishaps in Trinidad with the change of weather and a few incidents. We're now 15 points behind the championship leader. So being on home soil, um, getting the support from Targonal, we have a big chance of winning it. So I just hope everyone comes out and support. I know Targonal has me, so let's see what we can do. A bit tentative of just getting points, but I really need to finish ahead of um, Christian Budu Singh. So I have to be aggressive from the get-go, but be smart, because to win it, you have to be you have to first finish. Trinidad's Kristen Budu Singh currently leads the standing with 178 points ahead of Jeffrey and 163. Stuart Maloney and Justin Maloney are behind Jeffrey in third and fourth on 85 and 83 points, both of whom are too far off the leader to challenge for the title. The Guyanese is the only racer with a realistic chance for overtaking the lead. Budu Singh took the lead in round three of the championship with a fabulous showing at Frankie Bodrum International Raceway in the Twin Island Republic, capturing two second and two first places. Budu Singh wins also propelled Trinidad to the top of the nation's cup. 180 points ahead of former leader Guyana with 172, with Barbados third and 164, and Jamaica fourth, 102 points. Royce and Chase made an unbeaten half century as Barbados Pride made a winning start to their CG United Super 50 Cup campaign by easily defeating West Indies Academy by six wickets. In pursuit of a modest 214 at College Cricket's ground on Tuesday, Pride overhauled their target at the start of the 45th over, with Chase ending on 86 not out from 81 balls, which included nine fours and four sixes. In a day's other match at Sir Vivian Richards Stadium, all around the Rakim Cornell hit a whirlwind half century as Leeward Island's Hurricanes raked up a second straight win with a convincing 68 run triumph over Jamaica Scorpions. President Irfan Ali has acknowledged the need to enhance the development of athletes by ensuring they are provided with the required facilities. On Wednesday, President Irfan Ali, along with several officials of government, visited Tocqueville to see ways his administration can not only improve the well-being of those within the community, but also enhance areas where youth development can be fostered. You know, I'm working with sports personality across the country to reach into communities to work on developing positive attitude in community. And here in Tocqueville today we came because we're doing numerous uh, works in enhancing the infrastructure, the community infrastructure. The ground, the football ground, we're going back the ground, the fence, uh, access road, creating a hard tarmac uh, for community uh, and lights for community persons to look at. President Ali's visit to the community follows on from a recent meeting with youth footballers Curtis Kelman and Jeremy Garrett to discuss youth and community development in the Tocqueville and East Rumbelt area. And the young people, I like the enthusiasm and the interest. I mean, these young footballers, a number of them national footballers, they're coming directly to us now and volunteering their service, wanting to be part of the positive change and the positive movement in Ghana. That is what we want. Everybody on board leading a positive life, transforming communities all in the positive. A sum of $250 million was set aside this year for the development and improvement of a number of community grounds across the country. To date, 25 community grounds in regions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 10 have been upgraded since 2011.
Government has also invested in the development of sport infrastructure, including the synthetic tracks in regions 6 and 10, along with the multi-purpose sport facilities in regions 2, 6 and 10. Works are ongoing on stands at the National Track and Field Centre, as well as rehabilitation works at the National Stadium Providence, and maintenance works on the Mackenzie Sports Club, the Kokwani Recreational Centre, the National Aquatic Centre and Kalkum Pool. That brings us to the end of Sport Update, which was brought to you with the kind compliments of ISG. More after the break. Over the years, ISG has been providing all sectors across Guyana with quality products and outstanding customer service. Proud distributor of NP and Ultra lubricants, engineered for tropical conditions. International trucks and parts, leading the change. SEM machinery, a Caterpillar brand, SKF bearings and mounted products, NAPA batteries, Tide power generators, discover the greatest source of power. Industrial Supply of Guyana Inc., the best opportunity to make the right choice. down the curtain on tonight's newscast but before we go here's a reminder of our top stories 2020 elections commission of inquiry opens today Armenia leaders urge to practice financial accountability world-class golf facility to be developed in the georgetown and in sport chase puts pride in winners wrote up the car will give hurricanes a second win catch our river cast tomorrow at 6 hours 30. don't forget to like our facebook page where the news can be viewed live at 19 hours 30. You can also check out our website at mtvgy.com for these and other stories. On behalf of our news and technical teams, Sandy Ramutar saying, stay safe and goodbye for now.